Crow Dumpster Diver back at it again. I'm having an amazing day today, guys. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Right now, I probably have like the blackest hoard here. This is a nice, full, two cart set. Beautiful. All right. We got a lot to go over today. All right. So let's start out with this. I do believe this is a gold drape that you can actually put over the cloth. It's very nice. I am going to wash it, however. One of the things I learned from you guys is anytime you go in a dumpster, you always do want to wash everything you have. Always keep your hands clean as well. I do have rubbing alcohol uh, right now. Okay. Let's start out with this cart. I got two of these, and they're unopened. So you have the HP sticker that's here that goes over the opening seal. So as long as this is still closed... It's unopened, it's still good, okay? Now this is a 55A black HP laser jet ink cartridge, CE255A. Now, this is full, it is unopened, I have two of them. I have not yet checked the price of what they are, but I do know that they do sell. These are not five or 10 bucks. These do not cost five or $10. I will be checking the price later on today. I have a lot of good random wires. I have some of this. I believe this is DVI cable. I have Jabra wires here. Oh, I did not see this one in here. I did not see this one. I do have the actual part. I do have, it looks like I have a Jabra Bluetooth headset. Yeah, it looks like I got a Jabra Bluetooth headset here. Right now, hold on a second. Let me get this out. I do believe I have a charger for one of them. I don't know how this charges at all, but it may be a plug. If it is a plug, and I'm hoping it is, I do have a way to actually charge it. I don't think... How do you plug something like this in? This makes no sense. Oh, there we go. Uh, no, nah, I don't have that. I don't have it. That would have been good. I was thinking about it right there, but no. It's like a hook weird thing there. Okay. Uh, we have... A lot of good plugs, laptop plugs. We have laser mice here. The laser mice are better than the ball ones because they can work on different surfaces. But I think the ball original ones are better. These are the laser ones here. This one is a laser one. That's a laser one. They're very good to have. Always have extra laser mice, okay? I have a Dell laptop charger here. This is one of the larger pin ones. Very nice, okay? Now, this here, oh, this may be for that job or one. This is parts, an adapter. This may be to charge it. That's a phone jack piece there and another phone jack. So I wouldn't be able to use that. Starch Tech router cable, six foot. You know what's weird? You guys order these things and then you throw them out, okay? Now, that you ordered, probably ordered the wrong one. You wanted a VGA to Ethernet. This here is the Ethernet set, and that's not VGA. That's a smaller version, which is a D89 female, okay? Now, this is not VGA, okay? That's not VGA, so you probably ordered the one one and threw this out, okay? Again, it happens. I'm not mad. This here is very interesting. This is a special stylus pen with a couple small pins at the end of it and some wire there. So I would keep it and use it for my laptop, but I might not need to. We got four keyboards here, so I got some Mylar and wire I get to dig out. I got this as well. This appears to be from a laptop, but it also would be an adapter. So you have the bottom part there that would actually end up going to the laptop part, which is the hard drive, and this part here, which will actually go in an adapter to read it. It's very, very good. I do like it, okay? All right, now, that's the first cart. Now, what's the first cart worth? I haven't gone over the second one. The first one, depending on this, this is the most expensive thing on the cart, to be honest, right now, because I'm just getting Mylar here, and I got some scrap, which is very good. If I got to figure out what those are, what they're worth right now, but if I do, I'll check it out. Here's the second cart. Now, what we have is we have some retractable banners in here, okay? Now, for those of you who already know, I did go over those in previous videos, retractable banners. Some of them are silver, some of them are black. You have posters on them, and you can actually pull them up. They're very, very good. They kind of look like that, which is pretty good, okay? Now, I have a notepad piece here for IBM, which is very nice, IBM International Business Machines. They're very nice. It has the pad in it and a pen. Reprieve Wildlife. I do like this. So it's a very nice little thing. You probably pay maybe five bucks at a garage sale for it, but they're very good to have because you can put your notes in this, zip it up, and keep everything here, especially on a rainy day. I do like that. I may have one. If I don't, I'll keep it. 
IBM is a bit of a name brand. I have a printer today. I have yet to plug this one in. This is a Dell printer, by the way. It's a Dell E310DW. Now, I don't know what this would actually cost, but it is very nice. I did double check it. I did pull it out. I did look at what this actually would be, okay? Now, this uses a different type of ink cartridge. It's not the smaller ones. This is the actual larger one that comes out. Now, yeah, this one will probably be about $100 or $200, but this is going to last you probably all year. So I can actually end up doing printing at home, which is amazing, you know? And these are not, trust me, these ones here are not cheap, okay? The whole thing goes inside of there, so I'll show you how it works. And I'll put this in just like that okay and that's where it connects into okay ldproducts.com okay snaps in closes up closes up real simple okay okay it, it, it's very nice right now i'm not i'm not gonna lie it's a very nice piece it didn't have a lot of water on it but it did have if you can see some scratches but i'm not worried about those yeah i can i can wipe those out like it's just something that was over it right now okay this, you know, you have the simple buttons on it in the screen. I do believe it's only a printer. Now, as far as the ports for it, I do have the port that does connect the printer to the laptop, but I don't have the power cable for it. I have to get a power cable for that right now. Again, it's a very nice printer. I don't, whenever I see printers in the garbage, I do want to take them because sometimes the ink in them is still good and the printer still works. They just had a jam and they couldn't figure it out. Now, what we have here is a Canon DR M162. Now, this may be a printer or scanner, okay? Now, let me give you guys a better, better look of it. Now, the good part is I did find the cables for it, thank God. I found the plug that goes into the wall to power it. I also found the USB cable that goes to it, and both of them go to the back, right? Now, I'm going to pull it up to give you a better view of it right now, okay? It's a Canon DM DR M162. Now, it's very good. The bottom part doesn't pull out. You have the power button on the top here, which is very, very nice. And in the back of it there, you have the ports where you have the plug to plug it in. And then you have the that part for it. And then you have the model number for that. Now, looking at this, this may have had another attachment on the top, but it's no longer there. Now, this part here does go in. So this may be, oh, wait a minute. It may be a scanner that might actually be used to clear it. Don't know. If it's a scanner, I'll definitely keep it. Now it says job number. This might be just to put job select, start, DFR. It may be a scanner. I don't know if it's a printer. I'm not able to actually open it and put ink in as far as I see. Oh, wait a minute, this says open. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, here we go. Okay, so it looks like it is a scanner. Okay, yeah, so we have the scanner port here. This long piece here has a special LED set to it. So this whole thing is a scanner, it's very nice. It's very nice, I do like this, this moves. These are all motorized. This part will actually go up, and then look at that. You have the foamy thing on the bottom. Okay, so this is a scanner. Now, what would this cost? I don't know. I can't tell you. I, I can't even tell you what this will cost, but it's good. So we're going to have to look at what the retail and wholesale of these are. That's what we got. We got Crestron today. I love Crestron. I love finding these things. They're worth about $100 to $200 a piece, and companies pay big bucks for them right now. Okay, Crestron DMRMC Scalar C. I do believe I have about five of them, and these might be the $50 ones right now. They're very good. They're used for video. They're used for changing the size of the video sometimes and also the pixelation, which is very good. This is what some DJs would actually use if they have video on screen not necessarily for music but video so we got the ethernet cable piece right there right now very very nice now this is the crestron scalar c this here is for the computer one all right now i have two dm computer center this is dm tx 201 c's very very nice ones i do like these all of the parts are there it's untouched it looks new to be honest, it looks new. Again, you companies buy this and then throw it out and then charge people fees because the company needs to make money. 
Imagine what happened if you kept some of this, right? I'm not even done. Now here, we actually have what's called a solstice. Now I was looking at this like, well, that's HDMI right there. And I look at the end of it, they got some hair or cloth in there, which is why they probably threw it out. Okay, solstice, M serve technologies right now, SP8096, okay? That's the model number for this. Now, this would definitely be for video. You have HDMI, this might be a switcher unit, okay? I'll double check. Again, it doesn't even say what it is. All right. Now I have four of these, which is beautiful. I love having these. Now, sometimes they look like set top boxes, but it's just, that's just the company signal. You can actually see it there. OK, HDMI, USB, which is good. That goes to the TV. That goes to the power. That would be for the Ethernet. And this is Solstice Pod. So this might be model SP7700 X. Oh, shoot. 700 X. OK, excuse me. Solstice Pod. It's a very nice one. MSERV. Okay. And guess what? I got four of them. What are they worth? I don't know. I'd have to check up online, but I got four. Even if it's worth five or 10 bucks a piece, which I doubt, because these are set-top boxes. And if you have cable, you have to pay every month for them. So if you have Comcast or Verizon, they will charge you every month for the set-top box as a rent-out. If you want to buy it, you can just purchase it for like $300 so you don't have to pay the monthly fee. But these right there will cost you a bit of money. In the back here, we actually have an Extron. Now, I have a few of these. This is an over DTP, okay? I haven't had one of these yet at all, but it's very, very nice right now to actually see it out here. Again, I have another, wait a minute, is this the same one or is this an extra one? I think this might be an extra one. Let me see the back of this one here. So, yep, it's an extra one here. And then after that, we have a walkie-talkie, which is here. I only found one. It doesn't have the battery stuff for it. I got a Seagate hard drive here right now, which is very nice. Don't know what the, don't know what the space in it is. And then this here is a Leap Motion. Leap Motion. Don't know what that is. I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, okay, let me put this back here and then put this back here because technically they're both the same. These, these are both the same, okay? So yeah, oh man, there's so much stuff that I have today right now, but I love it. I, tr I truly do love this. What's all this worth today? Who knows? It's probably the most I've had in about a month. Well, that's not scrap, to be honest. What's What costs the most? Let's do this. Laser jet. Seagate, there's a hard drive in there. I want to check that out. Scanner, printer, Crestron. I mean, dude, rechargeable. These right here are going to be about 200 to 250 a piece, depending on where you go. All right? Probably cost you about $1,000 at fast time. So that's $1,000 right there. Okay? And then we got some keyboards. I'm going to take the Mylar out of that. Now, how, how much work am I going to have today? Not much. All I have to do is drill these out and get the mylar out of them. So eight pieces of mylar, and then I got some scrap wire, and then I have this here. This is what you would put an expensive retractable piece in because you have the key one with this, and this is a special one, which may be for an award ceremony, and it has a lock. Who puts a lock on a rechargeable? Very nice, and it's got a nice case to it. Okay, so what are we looking at today? Minimum $1,000. Why? Each of these retractable pieces will probably be 250 at the most. Then I got a printer, scanner. This is a Dell printer. That's a Canon scanner, an HP Inkset 55A, Seagate, Crestron, Celsius, Leap. Today's all name brand. All name brands today. Absolutely love it. But yeah, it's a good day. I'm going to be busy for maybe 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. I love it, man. And let's just say the rechargeables are the thousand. Everything else here is going to be about two grand. Yeah, two grand. Put money on it. Pro dumpster diver out.